Next is circulation. Start with the following observations. Heart rate, blood pressure and temperature. We have the three lead ECG monitor on the patient, which allows us to continuously monitor the patient's rate and rhythm. So I'm just going to have a look at the monitor and I can see her heart rate is 125, her blood pressure is 85, 152. And if we could just get a temperature. And it's 37.8. Now we look and feel for pallor, cyanosis and sweating. I'm just feeling the patient's hands. So she feels warm, clammy, and I'm not seeing any signs of cyanosis. And I'm seeing some sweating as well. Next we feel the hands for temperature and palpate the pulses for the rate, rhythm and volume. Okay, feeling again. She's warm and her pulse is fast, regular and it is bounding. Then we'll do the cap refill time peripherally and centrally. Press on the skin and count to five and count the seconds it takes for the colour to return. You can also consider abdominal examination. Depending on your speciality, fill the abdomen for tenderness, pain, uterine tone and fetal position. Jane, I'm just going to palpate your abdomen. Yeah. Let me know if there's any pain. So I'm feeling all nine quadrants, the abdomen feels soft and non-tender, and feeling for the uterus, the uterus feels normal, non-tender either. Then carry out some possible investigations, which may include a 12 lead ECG, taking blood samples, VBG, blood culture, a VBG will show pH, lactate and HB. In a septic patient, consider procalcitonin with anaesthetic consent. Remember, catheterization and starting a fluid balance chart to measure fluid balance. This will be using a catheter and a urometer. Consider a CTG. All right, Jane. So because your heart rate is a bit high, we're going to do a 12 lead ECG. Mm -hmm. We will also have to put a catheter in to monitor your urine output. Okay. Apart from that, we'll put a needle in your arm. Mm -hmm. So from that, it's a cannula. We're going to take some blood, including a BBG, cultures, some use and ease, full blood count, CRP, uh, group and save, as well as a procalcitonin after we check with anesthesia. We might also do a urine dip from the catheter and take a culture from that urine as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then this leads us to interventions. Positioning a patient with cardiovascular compromise, position the patient on their left lateral or wedge to alleviate pressure from the baby on the great vessels, the IVC and the aorta. This will help to improve cardiac output. If the patient is a low gestation or postpartum, then position the patient with their head down and legs up. Gain IV access. In an acutely unwell patient, this will be with two large bore cannulas. You can then take bloods including a VBG and blood cultures. Consider giving IV fluids. Consider giving blood products. Also consider completing the sepsis 6 bundle, three in and three out. Three in is to give IV fluids, oxygen and a broad spectrum antibiotic. Three out, take lactate using the VBG, blood cultures and monitor urine output with the catheter and fluid balance chart. Always consider paracetamol. We've cannulated the patient with two large bore cannulas. Next start her on a uh, 500 milliliter bolus of fluid. And in view of her observations, we should start her on the sepsis 6. So I'll um, write her up for some broad spectrum antibiotics according to trust guidelines. We'll give her the fluid. We will also um, give her oxygen as we are now. And we'll take a lactate. We will also take blood cultures. 
and we've categorized the patient and we'll monitor her urine output. So to summarize circulation, take a set of observations which include heart rate, blood pressure and temperature. Look and feel for pallor, cyanosis, temperature, palpate for the pulses, for the rate, rhythm and volume. Do a cap refill and feel for the abdomen. Auscultate the heart. The investigations include an ECG, taking bloods, the blood cultures, measuring fluid balance, and the interventions are positioning, cannulating, give IV fluids, and give blood products. So we'll run the bolus through, and then we'll check her blood pressure again. Uh, once we're happy with C, we'll move on to 